There it is. <laughs> I was rushed this morning. I can't. Cool. I'm right obsessed. Now, I'm gonna stop because my mom. Oh my gosh, Staples has Staples. <laughs> Do you wait? I can really bounce on my boys to that. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of The Meme Couch, or I mean, that's what we're calling it. We don't really, we're not good at coming up with names, but here's the premise, okay? A lot of couples are just friends, family members, siblings, where you like sit around just relaxing around the house on the couch. You see a funny meme on your phone, on like Instagram or TikTok, and you immediately want to share it with someone you love. So you send it to your partner, your spouse, your, your dad, your mom, your cousin, whatever it is. And that's what we do. We are like, hey, why don't, instead of doing that, why don't we just save them to like a, a folder and then share them with each other live? So we both have folders of memes that we've thought were funny in some relatable or stupid way. And we have waited till now to share them with each other on this couch while we're recording. So that's what we're here to do. I feel like some of these will hopefully be funny or relatable to you guys as well. And we're gonna be experiencing them together for the first time. So I feel like adding that element of first time reaction to these from something that was funny to the other person could be something that you guys would enjoy, so. So we've been saving them for a few weeks now and <laughs> I'll doing? be sitting right next to him on the couch and I'll just get a little chuckle and go, ah. Oh. Meme couch because I have to save it <laughs> instead does. of the immediate yeah. like send it and watch for his reaction. Yeah, occasionally there's one where I'm like, I can't wait, this has to go. And I know, we'll I know. It, and then there's been a couple where I'm like, ooh, is this too inappropriate? Like, am I allowed to laugh at this? You sure Publicly. are. Honey. You sure are. <laughs> Definitely too. There's gonna be a lot of recurring themes because obviously our news our feeds are curated towards us. So our, the fitness, algorithms golf. The Parenting, couples. Yes. The algorithms have a stranglehold on our interests and they continually feed us those things. Honey, do you want to start it up? I want to let you fire this one off. Okay. Hit me with something. Okay, I got to hit yeah. you with something very time, uh, very topical. Well, yeah, that's time sensitive is what not you're going to say. It's not yeah, time no, sensitive. I know it's, you... it's topical for this given moment of yourself. Oh, shh. I don't even know what that means, but here well, we go. Well, I just sent it. There it is. <laughs> we'll watch I'm already it. giggling because I'm a child. Me sips coffee, also two minutes away. <laughs> With your Trenta. Oh, yeah, dude. It looks like tofu, honestly. It does. <laughs> but that, so every time we get over here to record, normally, and it hasn't happened today because, no, it, I did it earlier. It already happened. Yeah. Normally you walk through the door and you're like, all right, I'm ready. And I like, it just said my third sip of coffee. And I'm like, all right, we're good to go. Lights are on. And I'm about to poop my pants. But you always have to poop. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And stink up the place. Keep them coming, honey. I like that one. Oh, oh, quick oh, bang more? them out. Oh, oh bang them out. Yeah. Boy. I Feed did not me. know I was starting. Feed me. I'm going to save. I mean, I got some for you. But... Some of these I saved a while ago, so we'll see. I don't remember half of them. POV, you so. already. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps not. I'll have the steak smothered in onions. A rack of ribs, pasta with extra garlic, french fries. Perhaps a salad? <laughs> Perhaps not. I have the I steak see. I see. So yeah, you got it out of the way for the night. Yeah, so yeah, now you got to get it done. <laughs> so so the girl can eat. That's it. Well, sometimes I prefer the pre-dinner, deed, quite frankly. Well, it's been that way out of necessity. Nece well, necessity because... because I you after dinner and uh, like two glasses of wine you're cooked and are like upside down on See a hammock <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You, they would, they would, it yeah. just wouldn't happen no yeah yeah that's how it is nope we like a little afternoon delight actually <laughs> there's old. another meme that's almost exactly the same but it's basically about getting it done because you know you're gonna fall asleep by 9 p.m yeah <laughs> uh, the married life baby you know it pumping into my veins i need more you're too quick i have to like I'm, I don't mean you're actually too quick. I just have to like, I want to look up and watch. Deed, or are you talking about the meme couch? Well, listen, I'm not going to elaborate on that. <laughs> yeah. People can use their imaginations. Oh, wow, dude. You're not even going to, you're not even going to throw me a bone when no. we're live. That's crazy. <laughs> listen, it depends on the necessity of the moment. I yeah. can, yeah, you know, if there's, if it needs to be a fast measure, measure then we can, you know, but <laughs> if I want to draw it out a little bit longer, enjoy the moment. This is all I've ever wanted from you, is to intercept my child when he's trying to <laughs> harass me while I'm cooking. <laughs> all right, I see. Intercepted is the 
title. I mean, so there, it is a bit of a meme that the kid just will follow you around relentlessly, whether it's the dad or the mom, depending on the situation. Why that's relatable to you is because when you're cooking, you get absolutely ape crazy if he tries to enter the kitchen or if anyone tries it's to enter the kitchen space. It's always at the peak space. moment of cooking. Yeah, because he's like starting when to get I'm hungry. When I'm like cleaning things, everyone's hungry. I'm hungry. I've got like 65 things going because he's not going to eat what we're yeah. eating. And maybe I've come home from the office a little bit early, so I'm there and you're like, keep him out of the kitchen. Yeah, it, what is the point of you having come home from the office if you're not going to get him the hell away and from I me do. so I can cook you wonderful food? And I do, usually, but he occasionally will sneak past the barrier because he's a slippery little bastard. <laughs> Like that okay. kid. Yeah, exactly. He's a slippery bad. <laughs> little but weasel. I'll do the best I can. Oh, my God. Keep trying. Yeah. So here's the fun part for me is that I have, you know, low-level dementia to the point where 90% of these that I've saved, I won't even remember that I watched initially. Yes. So I'll be enjoying them for the first yes. time with you. And there is absolutely no rhyme or reason to any of these. Some of them I just thought were cool. Maybe yeah. they're not no, relatable. No, I know. Some are not. Let's like, see. I see Jack Black's ha -ha. face. Let's take a look here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Every time. That's me trying to load the dishwasher. Yeah, don't even. Yeah. Trying to be grateful when your husband is in cleaning mode. I'm like, honey, look, I help. And you're like, oh, thank you. And then thank the second you. I leave the room, you like go rearrange the dishwasher because the bowls are in the wrong spot or the yes. spoons are in yes. the wrong fucking rack. That's, I mean, that that kind of ties into the to, to the joke of, you know, per, as, a, as a husband purposely doing it shitty so like your wife she's just like you know what i'm gonna i'll take care of it yeah which isn't the case for me i don't i don't think i've ever technically done that i just i don't really have an organized way of doing a lot of things so if i do it i feel good about it and it's taken care of but you are so methodical about how many things are taken care of the most recent one i'm pumped about is just uh, the, the laundry oh i knew that <laughs> right was now. coming oh yeah we i forever have st stayed doing my own laundry you folded it for a while mm-hmm but my problem is I let it pile up for weeks and then end up having to do like three or four loads at a time. And it's, it's and it, just you, a lot. You can't stand that because A, the, all of the folding at once and then there's clothes everywhere, which there still is. But now you've been helpful by like throwing in a load once a week just because little bits at a time more regularly. Yep. I've liked it. I've enjoyed it and I appreciate it. But the folding has always been the piece that to me was always the worst part. And right. I feel like you find some joy in that. You know, it's got to get done. So <laughs> Here we go. Hey there. Well, it's January. Ugh. And if you're like me. You so we both did dry January, January this year. We both did. Back on track. Yeah. But if you're also like me, you quickly learn that dry January absolutely sucks and makes this month even sadder. So That's why from here on out, I'm doing dry January with an asterisk. Dry January with an Getting asterisk? There. What is that? You're probably wondering. Dry January with an asterisk is basically the same as dry January. The only difference is if there's an event I really want to have a drink at, I mentally borrow a day from a later month. <laughs> For example, I'm doing dry January, but I was invited to a party this Saturday. Now, I see this random Tuesday in February, and I'm not going to drink on that day, so I'll consider that my new January 13th, and this Saturday is now February 20th, so my January is still dry. We're all adults here. Things come up. Birthdays, sporting events, Thursdays, <laughs> sporting Mondays. Events. Do you really want to let all those events get ruined by dry January? You might be thinking, <laughs> sounds to me like you failed dry January. No, I didn't. I just borrowed days. And my only regret is that I didn't come up with this idea earlier because this is awesome. Yo, man, want to go to a football tonight? I thought you were doing dry January. And I'm still doing it. I'm just borrowing today from March. Dude, what, is, what does that even mean? What do you knock out? At the end of the day, we don't know how many more months we have left, so why waste one? And switch to dry January with an asterisk today. Oh love my that. gosh, I love that. That's, I'm sorry, but that's you in an animated way. You that, have yeah. all the, the little excuses like, the, or the reasons. Or, yeah, all the workarounds. Oh, okay, it's usually, I'm gonna do dry January, except if we go out to dinner. That's the asterisk, yeah. So now in my defense, or, in my defense, this year I did it legitimately. For 28 days until we went, my asterisk, asterisk this year was the fact that we were, we went to Disney on vacation. So that was like on the 29th. On the 29th. So I ha I broke the streak on the 29th in January, but I did one through 28 with zero exceptions, which is the first time I did that. My previous j dry yes. Januaries were always all at home. I'll be dry, but if we go out to dinner, I want to have like a glass of wine, which yeah. is such a cop out. You know what it I mean? Is like, such a cop I, out. I, yeah, if you're going to do it, you got to do it. You have to experience the pain of actually saying no to experiences that you really want to have a drink at. That is the whole point. That's the Right, precisely.
I would say the reason you were so successful this January 1 through 29th was because you literally avoided multiple social events. You would get invited places and be like, I can't go because I'm not drinking. And how am I going to go there if I can't drink? No, it makes you re... It's not... Here's the deal. It's not that I couldn't go and not drink like I could. But there are certain friend groups or certain scenarios yep. where drinking is the focal point, And it just would not be really worth the time if you were just going to go and be the only sober dude. You know what I mean? And I don't. Like, I would be just as happy to meet my friend at a casino and play some blackjack and not drink. I don't care. Or wherever you were going to go to your friend's house. <laughs> I would, I just, I. Yeah, no, I get it. And there are, listen, there are people I that are, there are people that are sober. Friends. There are people that are sober and that is their life. But I feel like a lot of times, generally people that are sober in perpetuity, they tend to kind of sur start to surround themselves with people who aren't just drinking all the time like you mm -hmm. have to obviously make certain life changes a lot of probably staying sober is who you're around etc cetera, etc cetera. so it is it is interesting to inventory that but yeah for me it's the best you know for I, it would be one thing if i was trying to do it in perpetuity I would sure. figure it out. But for me, I was you like, You have well, to kind of learn to manage those triggers. It's right. And I, I was like, I have a busy month. All right. I can say no to this or that this month because I can just work and be busy. And then February, you know, March comes around or whatever. We'll get together and do the thing. So I'm not dry January anymore. But the asterisk. So Leon's friends, he said no to hanging out with you because... He can't do it sober. <laughs> that group of friends doesn't watch my videos. It's cool. Oh, oh yeah. I Actually, no, they probably, they might. They just don't have social media. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Oh. <laughs> this is literally f***ing you. In a, this is just you in a meme. And the dancing is so good. I'm so there excited is, by this. There is nobody on planet Earth who loves a coupon more oh, than my man. wife. I like a good one, especially Target coupons. Yeah, I said coupon. I'm embarrassed because it is coupon, right? Can we settle this debate right now? I think everyone says it different. Like, I think I said coupon as a kid, and I've said as you become an adult, you start to say coupon. I say coupon. Coupon. I don't know. I I like tampon. Oh. No, I don't like Maybe tampons. they have a coupon for tampons at Target this week, and I'll get a $5 gift card. Can I just tell you, flashback to, uh, for those of you that watch us relatively regularly, thank you, I love you, to the episode where we talked about tampons. Oh, yeah. I got roasted in what? the comments oh, yeah. because I was basically like, I don't even really know what I said. I was probably being a little bit hyperbolic, but I was like, oh, yeah, like who, what guy like goes and gets their wife tampons or sanitary products? And everyone was like, oh, actually, I get it for my girlfriend when she's sick or I do it for that. I've gotten my I get my daughter's tampons. I'm like, oh, I get it. Like if you here's the deal. If you needed me for some reason to pick you up sanitary products, I would have zero problem doing that. Yes. We're just not at a place in our life. Like you're the one that goes out mostly and you're always going out doing errands, doing these things. So you have yeah. no problem procuring them when you need them. So I think I came across like I tried to, I probably was trying to come across like Mr. Macho, like who wouldn't like get his wife tampons. And I know, it's I know you didn't mean it that way in yeah. any way. <laughs> but I got lit in the comments. Like Leo, you just were probably a thinking real like, man can't get his wife tampons. I'm like, I think you were just thinking like, how necessary is it for the guy to really have to take care of it? Yeah. I'm the one that's always out shopping. I get it. Of course. And I didn't think of the fact too, like, oh, if you're a dad with daughters, like obviously, yeah. like I have a son, I haven't I haven't thought of those things. <laughs> but I just wanted to clarify, clear the air. I would go to CVS and open the pack, stick two up my nose and pay for them at the counter and have zero f***s. Like it's not like it's an Listen, embarrassing thing or I'm above it. They actually work kind of well for nosebleeds in an <laughs> urgent situation. I believe it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, a nosebleed is literally just a period out of your nose. Wow, well, something <laughs> so like I, that. I can see, I can see why that works. We, yeah, yeah. Would you get the one with wings for your nose, or just the extra the absorbent? Tampons don't have wings. It's <laughs> I, pads. Uh, excuse me. Oh, pads have wings. <laughs> I forgot they this were. This is like, why I don't send them to the store. <laughs> Someone was like, "Yeah, I just had my wife send me a picture of the box." Actually, I feel like I did that one time a long time ago. You sent me a picture of a box. Probably like I was postpartum. Come on. Yeah, it was like around Jax's birth time. I so I have gotten you tampons in the past. Take that, in internet comments, idiots. All right, I'm gonna send you another one, then I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> oh my God, this is you. <laughs> That is you. You could be anywhere from System of a Down to Let It Go from Frozen. Hundred percent. Like I have at my, any given moment. My two, my the the 
the playlists I listen to the most are contemporary classical when I'm doing stuff I don't want lyrics I'm trying to study, study. metal mi metal mix study work metal mix system of a down and then Disney stuff with the kids and then I'll put on like Yeezus or like Denzel Curry or like some sort of rap while I'm working out too love it all baby love it all I even dabble. I used to be very anti-country. Oh, here we go. He's and I'll even in it. I'll dabble occasionally in some country, like the, like Chris Stapleton country. I feel like old school, like the Garth Brooksy stuff, like the real twangy. Oh, my tractor thinks I'm sexy. Shit, like makes me cringe, <laughs> wicked bad. But like just kind of that southern draw, Chris Stapleton Tennessee whiskey type of beat, like that shit. I can really slap too. I can really bounce on my boys to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, so let me explain myself real quick. Hang on, hang on. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need one of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some sanitary products. <laughs> Or I'm not my, going. I'm, I'm not my going. Pants. That's too. That's not. That's not macho oh enough for me. Does it help with peeing your pants? Oh my god. Uh, so I have to preface why I. I don't know if you know this, but that was like there was a meta on the internet where that was like a funny thing to comment on a song. So it would be like you'd be on YouTube and it would be like a a popular song that came up and it would be like oh man this song's lit just got done bouncing on my boy's dick to this. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funniest of all time no. for no reason. Stop it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that got that one I didn't even know was coming, but I'm glad you got a kick out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're up, Mrs. Lush. What do I send do? it send it into oh, no. my veins. How am I supposed to do anything funnier than that? But, oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is actually interesting. Now I remember seeing this. Staples has staples. <laughs> <Do> you wait. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh my gosh, That's so staples. good. <laughs> like, I thought it was done after BJ's, and then we get come and go. Five We're guys. We're not even done, yeah. Oh god, that's so good. And then in and out. You gotta hit that with a like. Oh yeah, it's really good. Unreal, that's a good one. Nice find. <sighs> Thank you. I don't know what this is at all, but I'm just gonna send it to you. Would a Disney Worlder travel somewhere else? Don't say it. You know they have one of these in Epcot, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to come to Mexico. We could have just gone to Epcot. <laughs> you can go to like, I don't know how many, 11 different countries in Epcot all at once. Yes. It just so happens that particular like Mayan temple looking thing is the, one of the spots we like to go because they have Love the avocado margaritas inside. Oh, delightful. And if right you, go ahead. If you go to Mexico in Epcot and yes. don't get an avocado margarita, you're missing out. You're tripping. Yeah. And they have, it's like kind of like Coco themed, which I love. They got all like the... the <laughs> What is the Muerte, Dia la Muerte, or the Day, Dia of, the, Dia los Day Muertos? of the Dead? Yeah, Day of the Dead. And the cool decorations, and then right across from there is where we usually get a little Mexican for Some lunch. Tacos for lunch. Yeah, that's like our go to in Epcot. And then Tapanito for dinner, Abate. Yep. Love that place. Epcot is definitely the adult place for Disney Oh my work. God. My dream, I've told <laughs> you my dream, is to go to Epcot child free one day. Yeah. I don't need a whole trip to Disney without my kid. I just want like. How's this? Even a half day, a couple hours in Epcot mm. without a child. Keep them coming. Pump my veins. Some of them might be a little more wholesome versus funny. <sighs> when you can't drop your kids off for the weekend at their dad's because you picked the good guy and you're in a loving, happy marriage. Oh, oh, I've seen. So this is like typical Instagram. Like one of these kind of things takes off and then all the couples recreate their own version yes. of it. So I've definitely seen that same particular one just from a different one where it was right, right. about... Oh man, you can't drop your parents off at. Oh right, at their dad's, right? Because you're still together. I saw one something similar about dropping the parents off or the kids off at the parents' house. I don't know. For what it's worth, though. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Relatable though. We love that one. Do you want to go or do you want I'm me to go? I'm going right now. You're or I'll just send right it now? to you. You can play it when you want. How's that? I'm playing it right now. Here we go. 
Admiring my husband's gains at the gym and thinking I won the lottery with him. Do you get it? Wait. I, the f comment came up and then immediately starts baking some sweets because I don't want anyone else to look at it. <laughs> nice. You so, only accused me sabotaging you one time with food and it was because I put cheese on a sandwich. I was like, what is this cheese? We don't do cheese usually. I'm, don't get me wrong, I love cheese. Ever since the Noom thing, I just was like, oh, I can do without cheese on sandwiches. Yeah. And then you add it one day and I was like, God, this is so f good. <laughs> I love cheese. I will say you used to bake all the time. Yes, I don't. You, you don't as much anymore, which is fine, nope. but you do sabotage me with ice cream locally sourced. No, that's sourced. your own problem. No. Those aren't going to go bad if we leave it in the freezer. I'm just Baked saying. Baked goods yeah, kind of have to be eaten or tossed. keep them in the house. You know, like, it's like, you know, when somebody can't have something and just like sprinkling it around. This is new, room. though. Like, you weren't <clears throat> always like this. I know. I acquired your sweet tooth. Yes. And I unfortunately don't have the same realm of control over that sweet tooth as yeah. you do. <laughs> I know. So, yeah, I mean, I'll bake if we're going somewhere or having people over, but I'm not going to bake dozens of cookies just to have in the house because then we will eat all of them. Okay, so... Are you going or me? I'm going. This next one is from a guy. I don't, it's not relatable. I just found this guy so hilarious just because, you know, my sense of humor is very random and like I love unexpected things. Yeah. And that's this guy's whole stick and he goes to great lengths to to, to do it. Those badasses crushed a prom. Come on. No, no, don't be nervous. You got it. Shelby, will you go to prom with me? Um, no. What? Why? I just don't like your sign. It's not my fault I'm a Capricorn. Look, Grant, I read all about your horoscope this week. Well, you can't just, just judge someone based off a star sign. I can. Oh, you're such an Aquarius! I'm so stupid. Bro, pick your head up. Who benched 110 at Planet Fitness? Me. Who can count super <laughs> high? Me. Yeah, you. Now go in there again and ask her like you mean it. Okay. I got your back. Let's do this. Hey, Shelby. Wait, what? The dog-eat-dog dog world, Grant? I'm my back. <laughs> All right, here. <laughs> Probably gonna ask her to marry me tonight. Already? Just try to stay out the way. Shelby Sanderson, will you- Is that Grant? Oh my god, no. <laughs> Was that 110 pounds? Give or take. <laughs> it's like 65. Right. Will you marry me? Oh my god, yes! We got a ride to catch. It's silly. I love it. Uh, they that, and that's what they do, and they're just so everything's like a big, big left turn or like ninety do degree turn. They have turn. a bunch of those. Oh yeah, yeah. These guys f rule. This is uh, Grant Beans and his buddy has an Instagram too. They like all collaborate on twenty one point four. They do like really incredible brand integrations too. I think Dude, this one might else even notice be in the new Fortnite season. Whenever you jump out of the battle bus, you I made dinner. Uh, Dude. And I figured we could use the TV stand, stand as, as a dinner, dinner table. table. Yes, bro. I'll grab some plates. Uh, wait, uh, Yo, did you ever do the dishes? Dude, how have you not done them yet? It's been a long week, okay? How have you not had time? You don't even have a job, Mr. Gap here. Well, now what? Five second rule. No, dude, it's already been five seconds. Let's just hit McDonald's. Okay, fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? No, I don't understand that. You need to be in a car to order. <laughs> GTA meme. Yo, can I get a time machine? Dude, they're not gonna have anything else. You want anything? <laughs> Ever since the pandemic, you've been acting weird. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? We're going back in time to when? To right before that pizza hit the ground. Five second rule. Dude, you're a genius. Thanks. Dude, has anyone else noticed in the new- I mean, well, just unreal level filmmaking. It actually is. No, that's like- It sucks you in. It's, uh, it's so interesting because it's shot vertically. It's done specifically for social media. Yeah. Like it's not like the cool, like beautiful bokeh cameras. It could all be done on an iPhone, but it's the story. It's the planning and execution is so good. And that you, that's my style of humor. Just like yeah. nonsensical bull. But you can tell even that part where he like rides his buddy is a skateboard. I out, think that's hilarious. That part took hours to figure oh, out because they had to literally like still frame every single thing and then just chop it and post just unreal big shout out to grant beans it's hilarious high quality filmmaking <laughs> legit no idea what this is uh -oh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you actually think that's funny? It caught me so off guard the other day when I saw it. This dude... It has six and a half million likes, so Holy this probably ha this might have like eighty million views. I don't. I haven't even looked at the comments. Hundred million. It's got a hundred million views a day ago. I mean, people think it's funny. That's insane. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Mrs. Lush has a dark side to her, but it only gets so dark. Yeah. Mine is a bottomless cavern. Mm -hmm. it's just a a lightless, <laughs> endless. <laughs> cavern of darkness. Holy f You sent one to me to lighten the mood, I hope. Send me another one of those husband ones. Uh, their husbands. Oh, I have one. It's <laughs> so great. <laughs> After seeing your dark side? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't... I think I was just so shocked when I saw it. I was like, I gotta... I just need to see if she's as shocked. Me, so excited for golf season, yes. Golf Current season status. reality. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> that is my voice, I'm pretty bye sure. Bye-bye. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just pick it up. Yeah, yep, the yep, ball throw. Yep, yep. The ball throw. Oh, oh fuck the bonkers, dude. Who actually knows how to hit out of a sand bunker? Not me. <sighs> yeah. Golf's yep. funny because it's like the best, most beautiful, relaxing sport and the most frustrating thing at the same time. Mm. So it's this, this dichotomy of like, oh, you're out at 7 a.m., the sun's creeping up over the... The trees, it's 70 degrees, it's beautiful, you're loving life, it's green and plush all around you, and then you shoot a fucking nine on a par three. <laughs> you want to fucking break your club over your knee. Being able, it's, it's a good test of patience <clears throat> that I've failed many times. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> many. I have broken a three wood over my knee before, and it actually, the metal snapped and cut my leg, so it was instant karma. It, uh, yeah, you <laughs> were like actually a, in actual, one of your own instant karma videos, I'm pretty sure. gash on my leg. <laughs> Fucking sweet. Granted, it was a piece of three wood that. <coughs> excuse me. Granted, it was a piece of three wood that came with my starter set, so it needed I, to go I anyways. Understand. It was like already half bent just from using it. I have two that are kind of related, so I'm gonna send them to you back to back. It's, send they're not them particularly. Only in Texas can you get a castle like this for under four k. So this can is you even wrap your head I'm, around that? I'm actually flying to San Antonio tomorrow. Mm. And yeah, coming and coming home with a piece of property in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, living in New England my whole life, and now living in like the Massachusetts suburbs. Yeah, let me tell you what. It if you, you can't spend get a little, anything for four hundred thousand dollars. No, 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 nothing. No, no. Last I checked, there was a there was a fifteen hundred square foot three bed one and a half bath, um, not updated, built in like the seventies, and it was like six fifty. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. With on with like no property, but it's just that's New England in Boston area suburbs. Like you can go to places in New Hampshire, maybe Vermont, stuff that's off the beaten path. But the closer you get, obviously, to the metropolitan area, New England real estate value has traditionally just been insulated from the swings of other markets around the country. I don't know why. I think people just for like New England's coveted for many reasons, just for the the seasonality of it. People like the seasons, but. I don't know, but I do. I've, I've, yeah, I've, they I'll, like the seasons. They want to come see what kind of spring we're having here. <clears throat> I'm just saying, it snowed like yesterday, you you take it for granted because you've lived in New England your whole life too. But if you like move to a place like Texas where it was just hot and dry all the time, and then there was like four months of summer, it was unbearably hot. I know you would miss the fall and the spring. You might even miss the winter a little bit. Hey, excuse you. Watch your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. So of a related. Stretch. Oh my God, is this King Charles? It is. People who locked in a 30-year fixed mortgage at 2.65 and 21. Let's go. We were 2020, but. 2020, and it wasn't still. quite as juicy as 2.65. That's but. maybe only if you did a 15-year back in the day. But we got, I think we're like three and a quarter, something like that, which, yeah, looking at the mortgage rates now. I'll take that over 7 8% or whatever the heck it is. Yep. yep. Brutal. Brutal time to be buying homes, but. I don't know. It depends. Like, it's tough because everyone's always like, oh, well, you just got to wait till the market cools off a little bit. But nobody can predict the real estate market. Everyone thinks they For can. Sure. And they're always thinking it's going to cool off. But I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't. And the whole point, like the interest rates tough because if you can find a property that's valued appropriately, even if you buy it at a high interest rate, 
the appreciation of the value of that asset could go up and offset whatever extra you're paying for the interest rate, and you can refinance down the road if those things go down. Just but a tough situation all it around. It is. But yes, I'm happy to have a primary residence uh, at a reasonable mortgage rate that we got into 2020. We got very lucky in hindsight because you know we weren't. Again, we weren't like timing anything. It just was what it was. It happened. It and just then happened. Looking back, we're like, man, I'm glad it happened when it did. Although, yeah, we'd be in a very different situation right now. Indeed. I just can't remember what any of these are, so. I, that's how I'm feeling. Hey, baby, can you come here? Can you look mommy in the eyes? Mommy's not mad. She just wants to know if you're fucking kidding her. <laughs> hey, baby, can you come here? Is that here? me with can the Dyson vacuum? The yeah, I saw another one. <clears throat> It might have been from that same woman, but there was it was like an audio clip of someone like, uh, your parent, like, what word do you use to replace the word f***? And it, it's like playing, and she's looking. She's like, um, I use the word f***. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that one, too. I most certainly did. Yeah. And yeah. sent it to all my friends. Yeah. Because we also all <laughs> use the word This dude, I don't, here we go. I'm absolutely locked in when I'm working from home because I always give my best effort and stay focused throughout the day. It's all about being accountable and doing the right things. So this guy, there's a little story behind this because I know that doesn't mean anything to you. This Wait, guy's name is that's, that's it. I'm working from home this guy's name is Davis Clark. He's from the Boston area. Focused throughout the day. He works in accounting in the FIDI in Boston, and he literally blew up on Instagram. I don't know. I'm he's got like 540,000 followers now because he just every video is just him wearing a fedora, like being the most lit, pumped accountant of all time. Like everything's like, I'm locked in. I'm gonna smash these Excel spreadsheets today, boys. He's like, let's go and people absolutely love it i'm trying to i'd like to get him in here on the podcast because i think it would be funny because he's oh. releasing a pump up song with d-rock tomorrow if anyone wants a text update right when we drop it please send d-rock a direct message that says the word davis my name and you'll get an automatic heavy hitters bringing us in for the quarter of the meeting today you know i'm ready to talk that talk let's go it's just like super bumped about the nine to five. I love it because it's so counterintuitive to the culture that's like, oh, you got to escape the nine to five, mm -hmm. like hustle, side hustle bullshit. And this dude's like, yeah, I love my accounting job. I'm just going to smash these spreadsheets. And even if he doesn't love it anymore, yeah. he now has a personality oh, that loves it. I was going to say, the irony is like through that, he'll probably end up maybe leaving it someday to do something on social media. Uh, but good for him. The other thing I love about this dude is every one of his captions. It's 12 a.m. on Monday morning. Let's rally. Is literally just exactly what he's saying in the video. The cords are absolutely oh. shredded. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be back ready to rock. <laughs> it's, it's just, oh, it's just it's verbatim. The exactly what he's saying in the video. The it's script. just his captions. Yeah, it's like a script. Guy is an absolute anomaly on Instagram. I love him. Davis Clark. Over half a million viewers. I I'm mean, absolutely subs. locked in, boys. I'm about to go smash these spreadsheets. We're going to get in that meeting and be pumped the whole day. Let's get it. Hey guys, get ready with me in the Oh, oh my no, God. this is my favorite okay, so guy ever. No, to I'm, Starbucks to get my I'm obsessed Starbucks with this guy. As I'm usual, obsessed. I didn't even have time to get ready this morning. No, my I'm, mom made me get up early for oh my, my little oh my sister's God. dance recital. <laughs> I'm like already car sick and we haven't even been driving for like more than a minute. It's so annoying. <laughs> the okay, so like, I don't scraper. recommend bringing your full bag of makeup in the car, but I was rushed this morning. I as can't. Usual. I'm right obsessed. I'm going to stop because my mom to run into He's so good the West Elm He has so many. Yeah. Okay, yo, my hair is like all over the place. So. <laughs> okay, that is so much better. <laughs> By the way, you guys don't even understand. I'm running on like two hours of sleep. I stayed up until four in the morning. Um, Straight butter. Salt burn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's in my eye. It's in my eye. Legit. <laughs> okay, you guys, I legit just got my contour in my eye. Like, oh my. Anyway, that was like super close. <laughs> Okay, so like I'm trying to do my full routine, but it's like super difficult because my mom is like a terrible driver. I'm honestly just trying to put out more content because I know you guys love watching me do my makeup. Indeed. Mission accomplished. Oh God, here I am with my Starbucks. Oh, hell yeah. I thought that was so I good. I love it. He has so many. Does he do that get ready with me type of thing a lot? A lot. It's <laughs> so good. And just the products that he comes up with to grab and like, Uses something else like right. the jumper cables and yeah. the hair. Oh, oh! I thought that was so good. I love it. I could watch that endlessly. <laughs> yeah, all day. I'm actually here. I didn't even look. His for imitations it. of people doing pumped. "Get Ready with Me" he's videos are 225. Yeah, he's killing it. Oh man, that very well could be in my list. Yeah, in your meme, in your meme couch <laughs> list. <clears throat> I believe it. Well, this dude. I'm gonna show you how to take back your finances, man. Okay. Oh, Women love a guy who's assertive. 
plans ahead. So let's beat them at their own game. Oh, I remember what he does. Let's assert, okay. and let's plan ahead. Huh? Love it. All right, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. What do we um? What do we need? What do you want to get? Uh, we need a tiny paper, toilet paper, and body wash. Toilet paper, body wash. Got it. Honey, you can't park here. I know what, what he it? does. You yeah. can't park here. This is for like the drive up. Perfect. Thank you. Here we go. Give those to you. Hi. I'm so sick of this shit. Well, you wanted toilet paper, body wash. We we're not gonna keep doing it. I called this. ahead. No. I made plans. Reservations. Honey, I want to do a lap. <laughs> oh, we can do a lap around the building to leave. <laughs> uh. It's funny because you might not even need something. You're just like, oh, I just, I'm just going to go run to Target real quick just to take a lap. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. us at Dick's Sporting Goods yesterday. Oh, yeah. Like I We can didn't need anything, and we spent $300. Well, we were looking to get Jackson a pair of cleats for flag football. Oh, all right, fine. So we there's some incentive there, but and there was also 20% weekend. But they weren't $300, the cleats. No, I needed some new golf shorts and some sweatpants, you're, as, needed. You're seeing, as you're seeing right now. So he's needed. just as bad as I am. Uh, excuse, well, yeah, I guess with like a place like Dick's Sporting Goods, sure. Yeah, even the mall. No, I barely go to the mall. I know, but if you do, you don't leave him. Empty handed. That's not true. I'll go sometimes. And occasionally you have those days where you just want like a little hit of retail therapy, just a tiny one. Okay. You know? So just at least you understand one. it. Yeah, but I also don't buy clothes very often. Like I've been wearing the same ratty sweatpants for like six years. Yes. So, you know, this is what it is. I feel like it's a good balance. But I can. Listen, you had my full support to make your purchases. <laughs> yes, you, but yes, I did. Don't give me a hard time. <laughs> well. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That is literally... You actually wrote that. Yeah. Throughout my back, sleeping and tweak my neck, sneezing, I'm one strong fart away from paralysis. So I'm... IRL, you tweak your neck sleeping, like, at least once a month. Yeah, I would That's. I would say, like, maybe once a quarter. Once a okay. quarter. Yeah. But it's funny because that is... I don't know what it is about getting into your 30s or late 30s, but the only time I'm really injured is just from waking up because I slept the wrong way. And yeah. it'll be like a strained neck that lasts for four days, and I can barely like turn or move my. And you're like, I head think I need a new pillow, and then you never get a new pillow. And I, I don't change. And anything. I cannot pick out a pillow for you. Sorry. You know the crazy part? I think when it ha when it happens is like typically I fall asleep in a good position. Like I'm more I'm a back sleeper now, more so sometimes side, mostly back. Never sleep in my stomach, impossible. And then I'll wake up in the morning sometimes, like when Jackson or you were getting ready for school, and I'll like turn and like roll over and like lean on my arm and fall back asleep. And that's what fucks it. Okay. You so know it's what I mean? The yeah. Because you're sh it's the second sleep from like 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. sometimes mm. because I've woken up and gotten into an awkward position and fall back asleep. Difficult, difficult life. My wife's going to kill me. I'm using her vehicle to clean mine. Oh, cute. <laughs> We've all heard that joke the before. The Sanderson sisters. Yeah, you can't. Nothing wrong with a little broom joke, you know? Mm. Send me something. Take it down the home stretch, Mrs. Lush. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, <Aww>, dude. <laughs> like, what? That's so funny. Obviously fake, but still funny. Uh, still got me. 100 kilograms, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Fart? No, but taking a deuce? Abs absolutely. <laughs> absolutely going to drop a couple kgs. Don't act like you haven't hopped on the scale right after to see how much your poop weighed. I dabbled <laughs> in a kilogram and a half. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What else you got? Oh, okay. Let's see here. You know me and my Costco memes. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, here we go. Oh, wait. I know don't, this. Don't, oh, don't, yeah. Don't, no, don't, I think I've seen don't, this. Don't. It's okay. I just saw this the other day. I think I saved it, too. This is the absolute best. I knew we'd have some duplicates. Yeah, I the song's good. You can start playing the song and then you have to mute it, but it's the no it's the nose thing at the end that he does. Crushes me. His face. Where are you from? Copyright. <laughs> there it is. That <laughs> you perfected that move. He did. The f boy kind of like lean into the nose. He did. Thing unbelievably based. I love that. I mean, 
this guy could be a professional actor for all I'm No, concerned. he is. Have oh. you seen this his channel? These guys crush. Okay, so I'm not surprised because that uh, is good. Justin, yeah, Justin Disposal. Wait. I did not see his page. No, that's not his page. Where is he? That's probably just a meme page. It is. And two others. Am I following Costco deals? Because if not, that's Wait, a serious Wait, I'm trying issue. to, because I've seen this guy's page. He does a lot of stuff with his sons, and they crush. They have, like, a ton of followers. I'm not following a page called Costco Deals. <laughs> what is wrong we with you? We talked about my love for coupons and sales. Yeah. And Costco. Also. Holy crap. How much of a meme is the Costco $1.50 hot dog, too? It comes with a soda. Comes with a soda, and it's the only, there's all, there's so many memes about, like, inflation versus the Costco hot dog. Yeah. Because it's been $1.50 since, like, 1980 or something. And there's, you know, articles and quotes from the owner of Costco about why he'll never raise the price. And it's so good. The amount of publicity and goodwill that he's gotten by keeping that hot dog at $1.50 Absolutely. has far more than made up for any sort of revenue who's he's right he's, pro he's not losing revenue on a hot dog anyways no it costs a cent to make it he's just leaving money on the table it's free marketing it's brilliant i love it yep. and it will never change costco what a legendary place i'm leaving miracles i hate that we have to cut that song because it's so good uv you give your girl a logical solution instead of emotional support <laughs> that's so classic just leave me alone. You know how my brain works, though. Yeah. Very logical first. Try right. to leave emotion out of it. And it's not even like, you're not bad about that. Like, I know it's a big meme, like, men are logical, women act by emotion. Certainly, there's an element of truth to that, maybe. But I feel like you're pretty good at employing logic, too. For me, it's around, like... I don't know, like getting new blinds or like like getting something new. I'm just like, well, that doesn't make sense. It works. Why would I need to get a new thing or replace it? Why would you get a new chair for your video gaming computer? Yeah. It still worked. No, the old one it. was broken yeah. enough. No. <laughs> but you're right. It just comes down to different tastes and preferences. Exactly. I suppose. And priorities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I do sometimes try to logic my way out of doing something I know probably makes sense. Absolutely. <laughs> a little too hard sometimes. A little too hard. <laughs> I'd say that would... Yeah, that'll get us going. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want one more or are you done? Yeah, send me one more. Send me right, one last one to get my rocks your too. Wife. Okay. This is it. This is your wife. This is Don't my wife. Skitty keep pop pop. And a pop pop And a pop pop boom. That's so good, dude. You must have died when you saw that. I not I that was definitely one of the ones that I had a hard time waiting to, to send you me, or yeah. to show you because I don't even need any weights in my hands. If I no. bend down and flex my knee fully. The double pop. Yeah. As long as I've known you, it's it's always been a joke. They're and when the there's people around knees. people will be like, Oh my god. And you'll be like, Oh no, it happens every time, don't worry. You it's just, been happening since I was a kid. Yeah. Every time you squat below parallel, they just go pop pop like really loud. Next it's to each pretty other. impressive. Um, Does that happen too when you squat, like with the weights? I'm sure, like after once, it like waits a little while before exactly. it does it again. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. So Usually in the warm up, I'm popping, and then I'm good once and I'm carrying then, weights. And then it's warmed <laughs> up. Nice. Oh man. Well, that was that was fun. You had some bangers. I really enjoyed this first episode of the Meme Couch. It's a little too easy. Well, it's a little too easy, <laughs> but it's fun. It's just yeah. a little more laid back, and it's I love the element of it being stuff that we've seen individually together, and then we get to enjoy it together for the first time on camera. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit maybe slower pace and more laid back than what you're used to. Let us know in the comments uh, if you related to any of these or if you'd like us to keep doing them. We appreciate you being here as always and cannot wait to see you in the next video. Peace.